Hello my family members, 34,000 candidates have searched for Accenture coding question this week, so I could not take rest in Sunday as well. I am here to serve you what you want, not what I want, right? So today we will solve a coding problem asked in Accenture Off Campus Drive 2023. If you solve this problem with me, then your upcoming coding exam will be go going smoothly, right? Friends, at the end, I will give you a coding problem that was asked in July 2023 exam. You will hardly believe that it might come in any off-campus drive. <laughs> Let's at first discuss the first one. Okay. What is the question? The question is, uh, we have to print this pattern and the input is 5. Guys, in this type of problem, I mean in the pattern type question, we have to focus few things like uh, how many lines are there, how many spaces are between two digits and where are the digits being printed. We have to focus on this and we have to actually create a formula so that we will uh, print that pattern, that digit uh, in this location, right? So we can easily see that there are nine lines that means i is equal to uh, n is equal to 5 and we are printing how many lines n into 2 minus 1 that means 5 into 2 minus 1 so we will run our for for n into 2 minus 1 time right and where are the digits being printed just uh, you have to know that in this type of problem we actually run two for loops one for loop will print the row and other for loop will print the column right so when and here the digits starting from one so we will initialize the ith value i mean in the first for loop we will initialize the value of i is equal to one so we have to start the value of j in the next row next for loop also should be one so when i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 1 that means i is equal to is equal to j we are printing 1 and you guys look at here in the second row 2 is located at 2 comma 2 index and here also i is equal to is equal to j here also i is equal to is equal to j here also here 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 so where i is equal to is equal to j we are printing the ith value that means when i is equal to 2 i is equal to 3 i is equal to 4 i is equal to 5 right so we are printing the ith value so when we are printing these values this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 let's say we are creating a formula for these two right so here the 2 is located at second row and eighth column so here i is equal to i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 8 right so i will create a formula to print this value okay so what will be the formula to print that let's say uh, it is at the 8 so 9 that means uh, the li total line number total line number minus i plus 1 it will be compatible with this let's say 9 minus i here i is equal to 2 and that that is 9 minus 2 means 7 plus 1 8 so it will print at 8 and we will print the ith value right we will print the ith value that means here i is equal to 3 here i is equal to 4 i is equal to 5 so we will print the ith value so here j is equal to 8 it is not factor but i is equal to 2 it is factor just create this formula 9 minus i plus 1 when when we will meet this I 9 minus i plus 1 or the total line number minus i plus 1 right we will print the ith value so let's solve the problem a uh, scanner sc is equal to new scanner scanner system dot in and let's say int n is equal to n sorry n is equal to 
sc dot next int and we will store the value of line into a variable count right so int count is equal to total line number that is n into 2 minus 1 right and we will run to for loop so i int i is equal to 1 i less than is equal to count right and i plus plus and we will run our for loop to print the column as well so i is equal to 1 and uh, i less than equal to count and uh, i plus sorry it will be j actually j plus plus right so j j j int j right okay now what was the condition we created that is we have to actually check if i is equal to is equal to j or i is, uh, or j is equal to is equal to 9 minus i plus 1 right so if i is equal to is equal to j or j is equal to j is equal to is equal to count minus i plus 1 if this then print uh, the the ith value right print the ith value otherwise what will we print otherwise we will print a space right and at the end of and at the end of two for loop i mean when the operation at first row and first i mean in the first row will over then we will print a line right so we'll print a line so i think uh, this is okay and we'll give the desired output let's run the problem okay the end value is 5 and print it guys this is giving this value but why oh sorry i have to give it only print right so let's run this okay now it is giving in the same line so what is the fault oh sorry the fault is actually this this is actually fully outside the we have to print this line actually inside this for loop right otherwise it will not print whatever we are desiring so just give five and it, it will be okay here it is your code so guys in this type of problem just focus on three things that is where are the digits are being printed where are the uh, spaces how many spaces are there and how many lines are there if you focus on that then it will be okay and you will get desired output after creating a simple formula by yourself right and uh, as i told you the question that is being asked and that was asked in the 22nd july and that was very much easy but it was still asked that was print of leap year it will it, you, if you, you have to check the leap year just believe me this type of easy problem are also coming so just uh, be easy and don't be hesitated uh, it will be okay after all right so thank you for today